Hello everyone, I'm Simon Toskin, that's Buff Pro. Today we're doing a video about Casey King. It's on a show from TLC called My 3,000 Pound Family with the quote, I was just eating till I'm dead, probably. Now, if you are familiar with the space that Casey King has actually lost a whole lot of weight. Casey King's looking pretty good these days. Uh, this, this is him on the TLC show. This is him now. So he, uh, well, you know, recently and lost wow. a crap load of weight. And the video we're going to be watching today is going to be focused on, you know, back then and the, the, the mindset and all, you know, the tragedy of it is what we're looking at. <laughs> but before we get into it, blah, blah, blah. subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Check out Dana on Buff Pro on the YouTubes and then check out the Toasty Games channel. There's a link below in the description. Check out this clip from it. It's a mannequin in the backyard. Hello? There's a mannequin oh, I got in it. here. I got it. I got it. I got it. Ah! Oh! 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 Oh, the mannequin's coming oh. after me! <laughs> Amazing. I know. I know. It's crazy. All right. Wake up around 12, figure out something I'm going to eat immediately. TV, video games, bed. It's not a lot of activity. He's a gamer. He's a gamer. Oh, he's, got a he's got the sweatband on. He's a sweaty. <laughs> he's a okay. All right. He came hard. My man. <laughs> <laughs> he got the hyperexes on, the sweatbands on. He's ready to play. All he's missing is the gunners, baby. Oh, uh, there's an interesting thing though. Like I was just noticing that when he's moving, like his body fat's very like, like soft. It's like moving around. Like so a lot of times we'll be watching these and they move and it's like it's stiff. And like even like my own fat, my fat's like pretty, 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 pretty thick. You know what I'm saying? So I, I kind of wonder, like, just on a body makeup wise, like what causes some fat to be like liquidy almost under the skin and then some fat to be like hard yeah i mean i don't know if like different different kinds i know it's like a you got the fat that's like over your muscle and then you got the fat that's under your muscle those are like two different whole two different ballparks but oh yeah that's right i didn't know. think about that does he, oh, has he got code red back there too no nah, it's got the white label on it, it, ain't, it ain't code red but <laughs> if it was though mm, there's a ubisoft <laughs> game back there what is that was that assassin's creed on the wall probably it's hot in georgia and all my clothing is restricting and tight. So I just sit in there naked, free as can be, and no one bothers me, door shut, we're good. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. You're in there naked, ain't nobody saying anything. <laughs> <laughs> good to go. Was that Halo on the back there too? Yeah. My man. Oh, what's this game? <laughs> it's, it's the guy leaning forward, he's got the gun straight down. Ah, uh, what is that game? Can't remember. Let me know in the comments. Is that Call of Duty? Ah, uh, is it Modern Warfare? Is that what it is? Maybe, maybe. Is that the Skyrim map? No. Caribbean? I'm like I mean I'm liking it though. I'm I'm liking what I'm seeing here, you know? I'm I'm liking I'm liking the True hobbies. Gamer. Yep, yep, yep. He's got it. Oh god, he's got that one guy that's gonna kill me. Oh no, he's weak. But I'm weak. I'm weak. Ah! I'm gonna die. He'd be a fantastic streamer already. You know you need to start a YouTube <laughs> career up. He's Fortnite. I can tell he plays the game a lot because that guy's got that one gun that's gonna kill him. Whatever that gun is, <laughs> he's got it. Plays all the time. Alright, I'll be right back. Who's he talking to with his mic way over there? Right, who can hear that? He ain't talking to nobody. And if he is <laughs> playing with someone, they don't want to be in the lobby with him because if he's that far away talking to that mic, they can hear the whole room. It just, right. It just sounds like <sighs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, the cameras are there, you know, he's just faking it. It's all good. No one sees me. That is my outside. That is my world that I can be the Casey I want to be, but not be judged on my weight. I'm judging you because how naked you are just walking around the house right now. Yeah, man. Who's home, dude? Put the pants on. Your mom's out there. <laughs> I've kind of wondered about the rest of the house anyway, because like his room, like sure, it's messy because he's not able. He's, you know, he's a gamer. Of course, he's got a messy room, right? Am I right? Then like hey. there's just all this stuff stacked up here already. So I'm, I'm wondering like, well, it's, it's, the, it's called my 3000 pound family. So I wonder how the rest of the family is. I never would have thought at 34, I'd be living with my father and I'd be, have no job, have no real money and just be playing video games all day. Oh, so lives with his dad. Okay, all right. We don't got his mom being around the house then. That's all good. You know, just the boys hanging out. He's yeah. drinking NOS. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that? That's not a drink. What is that? Is that a seasoning? Is it a seasoning? What's he about to eat? Out of high school, I was probably 300 something pounds. But then I got out of school, got a couple of jobs at a couple of restaurants. Mm. I ate at them. Yeah. So he's got the, the, he had to be the stereotypical funny fat guy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's always smiling, you know, but on the inside, no. Nah. It was just getting too difficult to work, so I quit my job. Hey. My mom said, to live in this house, you have to have a job. So she kicked me out, and I, the only place I had left to go was my father's. Dang! <laughs> mom was like, look, bro, you quit your job because you got too fat? Uh, she's like, you gotta, you gotta have a job if you go live here. Maybe, maybe to, <laughs> to get him to lose some weight, maybe? 
I don't know. Yeah, and it backfired. <laughs> Boom. All right, Bob, I'm gone. Bob, Mom, go to Dad's house. He don't care. We just ate like kings, but like in the worst way. Mm. Pizzas, chicken, Japanese food, takeout. I mean, me and my dad would get hibachi delivered, sushi by the barrel. Man, it's big. That's for sure. About to go fishing. Yeah. No. Dang. I ain't trying you to get sushi by the barrel? I ain't, I ain't trying <laughs> 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 Look, I ain't trying to make too many fat jokes. I'm saying, I mean, I, that's a long walk down that pier when you weigh 500 pounds. You know, this thing, it can only hold so much. And then you got that one, you one redneck friend back there, you know, that's just ridiculously swole for no reason. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you're down south, everybody's got that one ridiculously swole, swole redneck friend for no reason. But the secret is... Most of them are all secretly juicing. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I blew their cover. They're like it's natural. Oh my yeah, god! Whatever. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You, I never see you in the gym and you're swole like that. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> oh my god, Nanners, where are you? Nanners. Nanners. Oh, He's over there playing with C Nanners right now. God, taking it back. That's what <laughs> Nanners. Come, Come on, man. Nanners. Hey, so I got your food. Oh, okay. All right. I got you. <laughs> he's, he's so frustrated. I got your food. All right. Okay. Okay. God dang. All right, man. What is that? A little ring on a stick here for what are they going to catch with that? What is that? He'll tell me what to get him, and I come right back a lot of times in case that's too much food. But I'll get it for him. Ah. Well, Dad, I mean, mean. Again, he's lost a lot of weight, and his life has completely changed. So we're just going to kind of go, maybe we'll just go a little harder than average because we know yeah, it worked out good. good. Yeah, so. Dad, you think this is a bad thing? You know? Yeah, well, God dang, oh, how'd you get like that? Dude's God dang bedridden. You reckon he ought to feed him so much? God dang. <laughs> but I love him. You know what I'm saying? I can provide for my kid. I want him to eat. And God dang, I bet he ain't grateful for nothing. He's my son. I love him. I love to make him happy. You know, and food's got a lot to do with his happiness, but he's like an addict about food. Yeah, you know what? You know, me and my me and my wife divorced, and you know I hate old Lucille, so she kicked old old boy at the house because <laughs> he didn't have no job, and nothing. And I figured, well, heck, I just enable, I'll enable the crap out of him. I'll teach her. <laughs> <laughs> I love my boy. He's got an addiction, man. I, I, you know, if he was smoking crack, I'd go buy it for him and just put it right in front of him. He'd smoke it too, yeah, you know, just, just right there on his bed. He ain't got to move. And then, you know what? You know, I line up for him every day. I help him. I smoke a little bit with him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think they do crack. All right, I'm just. You did not get your right order. Are you kidding me? No, you didn't. Because if you ordered yourself a meal, it's not in here. Well, whatever. There you go. <laughs> All right, you ain't gonna share with your dad, man. He just went and got it for you. <laughs> that's gotta be for TV. Thanks for going in that food, Dad. Uh, this is mine. <laughs> yeah, I just pulled out four burgers, but uh, you know, dog, here's that in here. You're Sorry, in here, man. You know what? Well, you got to go back, go back, have them back down there, and get you another one. Here you go. There's your lunch. <laughs> Dang. I don't want to call him. You don't know him like that. I mean, sometimes that's really the way. Like it, it, it seems that it is. I mean, I call people a couple of things right now. You know, you're over here making, get your, get your cheap the dollar menu sandwiches, stacking you up the mega burger here. He just uh, handed your there dad was a some name for that eat. burger. <laughs> There's a meme for that. There was burger? a name for that. I don't remember. Yeah, when you stack the double cheese on the McChicken, I forget what you even call it. <laughs> oh, I'm not familiar with this one. I mean, uh, uh, I guess I wouldn't. You know, I was a little, I was a little too. Too privileged, you know, to know about what it's called to be stacking my <laughs> McDonald's together. <laughs> the dollar menu joys right there. Mm -mm -mm. I'm not buying the groceries. I'm not buying the frozen pizzas. I'm not buying the chicken wings. There's someone facilitating. <laughs> he walked in there. He knew dad was coming back. He went in there and got his extra seasoning. Apparently, you need extra seasoning. Okay. I got a couple things to say about this. <laughs> that was one of the things when I've talked about this several times, like going to... Australia, how I thought all the food tasted really bland. Unless I get like fast food, then it has like all the unhealthy crap in it. And I'm like, oh yeah, there's that flavor that I'm used to. <laughs> and the fact that, you know, you go get that food and then add more salt. It's salt. He's adding more to it. It's just like... And it already gave. <laughs> like, good Lord. Like, I, imagine getting Taco Bell and then adding more salt to it. You just <laughs> cease to exist. I, I eat Taco Bell and I have like a like a sodium headache for the rest of the day because it's just so salty, right? Yeah. And then like you know, the sodium in just fast food is so and adding more to it. Golly, it's so easy. Like I, I'm still, I haven't I haven't gained any more weight since I moved to Australia, but I also haven't lost that much more. I lost a little yeah. bit, right? I mean, this is because there's there's other factors going on with me, but uh, it's so easy to be fat in America. It's so easy. It is. It is it so is. I am easy right now. Yeah, you know. I mean, and I, I got this way that I am when I was there, and and I even try every half of the time. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like you, you, you try, but it's just, it's so hard because like the easy, affordable stuff, and even just like the, yeah. the eating culture, like like say, uh, Mary calls me out on this a lot. Like if I want to like treat the family or like, you know, do something nice for everybody, it's usually through food. Like food is a, like a form of like the expression of love. Yep. I do the same thing. I mean, that happens in a lot of cultures, but it's like, Mary was like, this is like, Americans do this a lot. It's like, if, if you want to like make us happy, you know, just spend time with us, you know, whatever. You don't have to go buy us a feast. Or like if I do, if we do order out, I get too much food because like, oh, you know, oh, it's like a grandma that's always making sure you're fed, you know? Yeah. It's like that, that whole thing carries yeah. over. And it's just like, and like with his, with his dad here, giving him food, it's like his dad loves him. So he feeds him, you know? And I don't know if that's like yeah. a generational trauma thing of like back in the great depression of how people, you know, were eating, got, you know, <laughs> scraping yeah, by. Yeah, that can of beans for the family. Yeah. And so like, you know, then that, that's just been passed down even though like we, we don't have any of those issues I, well I take it back my conspiracy Dane is, is right now currently we're living in like one of the the biggest uh, economical tragic times in history yeah. like it's it's like you know you go back to the great depression and it ain't that far off from each other you know you're not wrong <laughs> no one can afford anywhere to live you know everything's going up it's crazy you know everyone everyone's quality of life is so bad because all they do is work and, yep. and go home go to sleep get up and work again just so you can like survive it's insane yep. forget enjoying life anymore it's just uh yeah. surviving it everyone's like the world <laughs> the world's so bad you know oh man why, why is everything so bad it must be god dang the government's fault which, yeah, short-sighted policies have definitely led us to where we are right now, but it's like the quality of life is just so poor. Everyone's miserable. Like they have all the the um, the statistics for how birth rates like are going down. People are just having less kids. Kids are expensive. Really? Life is hard yeah. already. You know, like people, if people are happy and content and everything is comfortable, they would probably have kids, you know? Yeah, but if there's all this stress, they have to be successful and they have to work and they have to get like to this point by the time they're thirty, so they can even afford a down payment on a house and la la la. Of course, they're not going to have kids. They don't like good people will have kids when they feel that they can financially support them. You know, it's, it's, things happen, of course, but like when you make a decision to have a kid, you go through all these checks, and it's so hard to make these checks nowadays. Yeah, and then they're like, oh, yeah. nobody wants to work. But of course, nobody wants to work while they want to work. They slave away. Like, it's modern day slavery, man. I, I 100% it believe it. The guys at the bottom can't make enough to to fully enjoy themselves. So they, 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 they never sleep. They work extra hours. And, you know, at the top, they, they're still, they still want more. <laughs> it's not a conspiracy theory anymore. Like, it's, it's real. Like, and even, I'm not trying to go political with it, but like the people that we vote in office, you know, they may go in not rich, but they leave in rich, hundred percent. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I've messed with stock. Like I keep up with like the stock market a lot, and there's always the jokes of how Nancy Pelosi is the greatest trader of all time. You know, she just <laughs> somehow knows. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the world sucks, and when the point that I'm trying to get to in the end here, aside from all all the how life is terrible, is that you have needs, right? Your body has needs. And there's stressors that happen when you need to fulfill certain needs. Like survivability is one of them. Like your, your survival is one of them. Then your like your happiness of like your other things in life, like your, your just like your regular mentality stuff, the basic stuff. There, there's there's several different layers to it. I'm not going to try to get too complicated with it. But like when one is weaker, then it relieves some of that stress to like binge in another one. And one of those that's easy is food. So like oh, yeah. you have like your 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 stress that you you naturally have for you need to survive you need like clothing you know warm you know, and food and water <clears throat> you eat that relieves some stress you get your dopamine hit then you eat more you know and you, and you just kind of you you get that fulfillment from food I talked right. to this 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 I talked I had a psychologist like psychologist uh, talked to and he was telling me this kind of stuff and I was like dang so it's a little more in depth than that but that's kind of like the gist of it anyway. What was we even talking about to begin with? Oh yeah, love, food, food and love. Yeah, right, right. Food and love. <laughs> Shoo, yeah. sheesh. Anyway, the world sucks. Change has to happen. Change has to happen, or the world is going to continue to suck. I'll let you know what we're going to do as far as supper.
Yeah. You know, he's 34 years old, and, you know, he, he ought to be taking responsibility more than what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. That, you're right, Dad. Look at that. This dog is concerned for him right now. Look at, look at, this, look at Casey's dog. Like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dad can't have food. I can't get a bite. What's up, Casey? What's Bruh, up, man? Dude. Threw it everything? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Food is so much more a part of me than I want it to be. So he ain't even playing with nobody on the TV screen right now. No one's in his lobby. <laughs> Who are you trying to pull TLC? I think I wouldn't notice. Now, there are moments afterwards where, like, I've ate so much where I feel sick. Okay. But I don't mind overeating and just going and throwing up in the bathroom. Whoa. All right. Well, I wouldn't expect this first time I've heard that on one of these. Wow. Eat so much that you're like, yeah. you get to go throw up. <clears throat> I've eaten to the point where I'm like... All right, I need to sit down. I need to sit down for a second. I think we talked about this previously too. Like, you know, you got people that like eat for flavor. Like they put it in their mouth one chip at a time, which is crazy to us. You know, insane. Yeah. Who, who can eat Shout one out. chip at a time? Yeah. Shout out to those people, the real heroes. But it's not like <laughs> you put it in your mouth, you chew it, and then you spit it out. That's not. That's not it. That's not where the pleasure yeah. is. That's uh -uh. just that's just like giving. That's like blue balling yourself with food. You know, it's right. You chew it up, you get the flavor, and then you swallow it. And like then that moment, that's like the ah that's 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 where right. it is. And then you know it just for whatever reason it just feels like that the more chips or the bigger the bite, it's like I need that mm -hmm. all that flavor at once. Yep, yep, right. Yep. To where you get the same and amount then, of flavor if you just eat one, but it's just not as fulfilling. It's not. Cause I gotta chew that and swallow it to finish it, you know? Yeah. I feel I feel him on this. I yeah. feel him. Yeah. <laughs> We're probably explaining this and like it's probably like very normal to us. And then people are watching like, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is wrong with you guys? How are they know. not on a that's, that's six hundred pound life? Yeah, like, we could be on there next. <laughs> but do I want to be fat forever? No. I wish I wasn't in the situation that I'm in. It's very rare for anyone to wish they were in the situation that they're in. You know, people always want their lives to be better. It's a yeah. good thing. The, the the craziest thing about it is is to an extent to an extent you can change your life at any moment like if you want to make yourself better like say you know i want to get in shape i want to start exercising more then you literally just go do it that's true that's it like that but it's like oh i don't have the time or i don't feel like it it's all those things that like you end up not doing it but right literally and the reason is because you're so far away from it right from that goal yeah and then it's hard well it's that's hard. The, like put in the work it's like it's like say like my youtube channel right um or we'll even like go someone like like mr beast you know some people like i want to be mr beast or i want to be pewdiepie they see like the end result and not you know the years of them <laughs> getting there right or even people that are right. in shape and they're ripped are like i want to be like that and they've been working out all their life you know and they're like doing all this nutrition stuff and they're working for it it's like all oh, that sucks like if you want to just make your life better, you want to improve yourself, then it's literally up to you and it's waiting for you to do it whenever you decide to do it. And and I am a firm believer of if it's if it's one of those things that you want and you want it bad enough, you'll do something. Yeah. But until you want it that bad, you just talking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, cool. You want it. So you say, but. You ain't done nothing about it, man. You don't you don't want it the way you say you want it. Yeah. And then once you finally once you finally do it, it's like, dang, all right. Now I'm gonna get it. I'm I'm doing it. Yeah, and that's like you just gotta get to that point. That's where like great in my opinion, like where greatness comes from. It's not because someone's naturally gifted at something. It's because they put in the effort to push through to get to that point. Yeah. Like like say again, I'll use my YouTube channel for, again for an existence for for an example. Uh, it's not the biggest YouTube channel, but it's successful and it's, I'm, I'm not the most entertaining dude on the planet. I'm not, not the most entertaining dude on the planet either. I think I'm all right, you know, <laughs> yeah. but the reason I'm here where I am is because I've continued to do it and continued yep. to work at it. Uh, and it's the same way with like my weight. Like if I would just like wake up tomorrow and be like, that's it, I'm going to do this and not just for the day, like consistently mm -hmm. do it. And I could be ripped out of my brain, right. Right. you know? Especially when it comes to like the doing the work, a lot of it 
is is stop thinking is stop thinking and just do it right yeah but then when you're physically doing it you're like okay that's that's a little hard mm -hmm. it's also hard to choose to go and cook that food or to go the easy route yep. and ride up the street real quick you know that's just a dollar in gas mm -hmm. and uh you know buy the the cheap quick food it's that same process and you have to constantly make those same decisions every time yep. and it's it's that one's just as hard to me seriously yeah it's like, shoot i didn't get meat out now what do i do mm -hmm. you know <laughs> do, I, do i put it in the microwave and you know heat it up and like you know it takes an extra 30 minutes and i cook for myself anyway or I just order that fast food it's yeah and we're talking about I mean, we're mostly talking about food but it's also just like a life lesson it's in general like yeah. uh, in my personal opinion i don't think it's that hard to be great like to be like someone great any like anymore like there's not there's it's so hard to want to put in the effort like just in general I feel like like everyone suffers from this to where like if you're yeah. a person that can just do it in whatever field you want to do, you just put in the effort, then you'll be great. Like I think mm -hmm. I, I personally think the bar is pretty low that if you just go for it, then you're gonna you, shine above everybody else because now you're doing it. Now you become that. Yeah, I mean that's uh, influencers, YouTubers. You know, like we're not. <laughs> most of us are just regular people that have just put in the time. But people think like that they're so great, you know. <laughs> that, that's how low the bar is, Dane. <laughs> yeah, and and literally, I'm sure you get this all the time because I get the same question. It's like, yo, give me some advice. I'm just starting a channel. What do I do? Do it. Oh, you just you just do it. <laughs> you just gotta constantly do, do it, it and learn. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like it's like I can't complain where my where I'm at with, with mine, right? Personally, yeah. Cause I haven't put in that same type of work and I can't expect the same results because I applaud you all the time for this channel. Like just the amount of work you've, you've always done. It's, it's a very, it's a very awesome thing and it takes dedication and you got it. Shout out. <laughs> yeah. And now, of course I will also add to this. Like if you, if your goal is like, I want to be the greatest basketball player in the whole world. All right, listen, you know, <laughs> there's an extent to it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to this. God, what, what are these soapboxes one today? Woo! Oh, that's gonna be good for your skin. Trough currently because oh, that's cold I water. I cannot physically bathe in a sit-down bathtub. At least he put his clothes on before he went on the front porch. That's nice. <laughs> because I'm a bigger guy with like folds and flaps, and I have to move around like almost like a pig in, in a way and wallow and roll over to get like the back of my leg. I have to lift up. In literal, pain right now. Or is it just that heavy? I bet it hurts. I bet, uh, I bet you have those creases in there. I bet it does get painful. There's two times where I've been kind of stuck in the shower and I couldn't get up. I sat in there for like nine hours. What? Nine hours in the shower? Dang, where was dad at? Dad's like watching him now. He ain't going nowhere. My boy's in that yeah. tub. He could drown at any moment. God dang. <laughs> and we were like, I was like, dad, I just, I'm afraid to get back in there again. He's like, well, I got this thing I can buy. At this point, I'm, I'm still impressed that it's like, the answer is still not to lose weight. It's like, well, right. I can get, we can get a trough and stick you in that. How about that? And I get tired of it. And he should be more active, but he's not. He's not. He's he he's just there. He's just there. <laughs> Good old dad. He should be doing something, but he ain't. I keep on giving him <laughs> McDonald's though. And I wait on him hand and foot, and I shouldn't do it, but I do. Whew. Yeah. All right. I love him today. Oh man, that was a dry head of hair. He just put that on there. That's gonna be Ooh, Ooh, boy. God. <laughs> Like sometimes we'll have great moments together and then a, recently in these past like years there's a lot of like negativity and anger and frustration dad's getting sick of it is that what it is <laughs> dad retired man he wants to chill yeah dad, dad seems like the good old country dude that's just like you know like my dad always told, tells me if you, if you don't help yourself then no one can help you yep yeah which is <laughs> very profound the more i think about it Guess, you know, <laughs> I go, I go back to thinking about what we just like ran about, like you know, making changes for yourself. Like it, it goes to like even these these shows that we watch. They no one can be helped until they're ready to like help themselves. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then like, yeah, I guess like all facets of life. And I was like, dang, Dad, let me get out there and help myself. I guess you know. <laughs> all right. And then when I, whenever I would be trying to do something and like struggling to do it, then you know my family would help me of course like you know fill in 
uh, like the gaps I was missing or, or whatever. I don't know. It's like people want to help. At least in my experience, when you, when you're when you're putting in effort, right? Yep. yep. Yeah. But then accepting the help is a whole other situation. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> that's another soapbox. Yeah. I need this help a little bit to clean myself. Wiping just my ass because I mean I can't reach everything on my back and I can't reach everything below me. So. Mm -hmm. I bet dad's got a he's he probably bought something for that too. Don't you worry, he's got a stick. Got a, <laughs> got a corn cob on the end of it. Grabber from Amazon where you yeah. just <laughs> <laughs> grab the paper and get in there. <laughs> how, would, how would you even do? Like, all right, son, lay down on the ground. I guess I can get in there. I don't. I don't know. Like, you gotta mop him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to have a normal life, and that's not normal. No, please. please, please. <laughs> got, the, got, the, got the old kayak down, you know, <laughs> jump in there, woo, go down the hill. I mean, we, we've got to make some drastic changes. Well, the good news is they do make some drastic changes, and uh, Casey King is losing a lot of weight. There's another video that actually I'd seen that I was, I was thinking about doing. It's kind of like a, a Where Is He Now video, and yeah. uh, he lost like. You know, 500 pounds uh we'll do that in the future i just want to do this one first before we get to that so that we have like the baseline set you know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that leave a like leave a comment do all that cool stuff if today's your birthday happy birthday to my friends i love you see you next time bye bye <sighs> nose